Hey there, my name is Shane Craddock and this is the Inner Edge podcast where I share a different take on how to lead and live a sustainable high performance life. Over the course of different episodes, I'm going to challenge the belief that tension, stress and struggle are essential to success and creativity. My experience is that there's an easier way, there's a better way and indeed there's an essential way that we need to explore for the times that we live in. So let's go ahead, let's jump in and explore. Hey there, welcome to today's episode with myself, Shane Craddock. This is The Inner Edge, where we explore different things on the inner side that hopefully will make a difference to you in your life, your work, uh, wherever you're you're trying to make an impact. Um, Today's episode has kind of been inspired by my own self, weirdly, over the last couple of weeks. I kind of caught something going on inside myself that I'm going to share with you that um, the title Hopefully, it will make more sense by the end or as we're going through this. It's about ideas and clarity, making or mining. Now, the thing that I observed about myself was like the, I'm recording this uh, in the middle of February 23. And uh, the first six weeks of this year for me have been pretty intense. There's been lots of stuff going on, work and personal. Um, some of it very, very good. Some of it challenging. And um, it's just been pretty intense would be the word I would say. And from my point of view, it's like, yeah, we just get on with it. We take it one step at a time. But I just caught myself in terms of, I guess the way I would describe it to you is not quite being where Shane would normally feel like he would be. So, and I kind of felt like the best way I can say it to you is I kind of felt like the pipes were clogged, that they weren't flowing as freely. And with a little bit of reflection, I realized that, uh, I was getting attached to a few things inside that I, I had let thinking get in on me a bit. And nothing major, nothing nothing to be concerned about. I mean, listen, you're talking to a guy back when I was in my mid-20s. I mean, thinking got in on me so bad that I was very depressed, and unfortunately for a period, suicidal, and then luckily got out of that. So I know what it feels like to for your thinking to get really, really in on you, like really like a virus in on you. So I'm not talking about that. This is just... Uh, I'm, luckily for me, I'm in a different place right now, but I was still aware that a subtle level of thinking had gotten in on me in a way that it wouldn't normally. And that's kind of what I'm going to explore in relation to ideas uh, and clarity and perhaps also energy, I guess, as well. Energy comes into this too. So the key point I'm going to say here at the start is when it comes to clarity, ideas, and let's throw in energy as well, mining is way better than manufacturing. So, so what do I mean by mining versus manufacturing or making? Um, well, I think the simplest way to say it is, you know, there's kind of a common phrase you'll hear a lot is, look, if it's, up to, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. Let's make it happen. You make it happen. You know, let, let's get stuck in. Let, let's, let's make it happen. And that, that implies a lot of action, a lot of effort, and that it's down to me to control the situation. Um, my effort, my work will determine the outcome. Now, I don't see it fully that way anymore. That's the way that I used to see it. Um, Because this is the inner edge, I guess my my challenge to myself is to put out perhaps sometimes a contrarian alternative viewpoint here. So now if I'm looking at things like that, I'm looking at more mining than making. Making implies my intervention that I have to, in a way, create something that doesn't exist. If I have to make a loaf of bread, okay, well, I'm going to put the ingredients together and make something that doesn't yet exist. When it comes to your clarity and your ideas and your energy, what I'm going to suggest now is that what I'm seeing myself firsthand is mining. A mi- mining is a very different process. Mining implies that there's something already there. If I'm mining for gold, it implies that there is gold in them there hills. There is gold in them there in that ground. So it exists already. My job is just to keep excavating, digging, excavating, digging in the right place. And then eventually I will strike the ore, I will strike the gold. It's a very different mindset. And that is what I see as a much more effective uh, mindset for getting solutions and ideas and insights. If we assume that it's already there, that takes the pressure off and actually has a big, big impact. Now, a couple of ways to illustrate that point. I was, this has gone back many, many years, unfortunately, from my point of view. <laughs> I was a young executive in a, in a multinational, a large multinational, and um, I... I was in a job where I suppose the, the boss, my boss, was somebody who used to give a lot of responsibility to people who he thought could handle it. So he gave me a pretty big project where part of what we were doing was I was putting in the first robotic arm 
I was working in a manufacturing company, um, an internationally renowned one. And it was a big project. There was a lot of people watching it. And there was some other elements to it that add to the complexity. And I was working on this. I was taking it very seriously. I was working long hours. I was putting a lot of focus on it. And there was a lot of moving parts and people involved. I was dealing with unions. Uh, it wasn't without some, uh, some tricky elements to it. And then I hit a point, I remember at one point, I remember realizing I was, I was definitely overly attached to the outcome. That's probably more looking back now. But my boss saw something in, a, in me beforehand. We hit a couple of problems, and I was struggling with trying to solve these problems. And I remember talking to him about them, and he just looked at me one day and said, Shane, you're going to take the rest of the day off. I think it might have been 10 o'clock in the morning we were talking. And I said, no, no, you don't understand. I can't do that. Anyway, he convinced me to take the rest of the day off. So he said, what you're going to do is go for a walk somewhere, clear your head, and then find a friend, go for some lunch, distract yourself, you know, have a bit of fun, get a good night's sleep, come back in tomorrow, you'll hit the ground running. I didn't really want to do that, but I was told to do that, so that's what I did. I went for a walk by the sea. I was down in Cork at the time, Cork in the south of Ireland. And uh, then I found a friend I could go to lunch with, had a great lunch, had a glass of wine, which I'd never normally do during the day. And was just relaxing and I remember one idea halfway through that afternoon came to me as a solution to a problem one of the problems and the second idea came to me in the middle of the night I woke up and I thought oh I know how to solve that and I wrote it down came in the next day energized clear the ideas had come to me I didn't have to fight for them which is what I was doing before that and the project moved forward very successfully and that was a massive, massive lesson to me. I didn't understand really then what was happening in the process of the mechanics of it. I do now. And again, it comes back to this mining versus making distinction. And what I'm saying is when it comes to ideas and solutions and clarity, you're at, the answer is always there. We just need to excavate. The most important thing is that we don't stress about finding it. And stress is a very subtle thing. The friend of stress or the indicator of stress is tension. Most people actually have a lot of tension and they're not realizing that that's actually blocking access to the gold. So most people think that they have to do something. I mean, action is important, but you're, it is possible to take action, a lot of it, but inside not to be tense. And most people, the, the friend of, of tension again would be overthinking or ana analyzing. Overthinking is really in fashion at the moment. I, uh, the Grammys were on recently in the, in the United States and I just heard uh, Adele speaking about one of the songs that she got. I think it was the best song of the year award or something like that. But she said that uh, the first half of this tune came to me when I was in the shower. It was a shower moment. And if Adele, Adele is saying that, you know, it happens to everybody. Who here hasn't had a shower moment? Fair enough. I mightn't have had a shower moment to make me millions from a song with the Grammys. But who knows? It might happen. You never know. Don't rule it out. But I've had lots of eureka moments breakthrough ideas. What's happening? Your mind is relaxing. You're coming out of the thinking. You're just perhaps focusing on the joy of, of experiencing a beautiful shower. And so many artists will say something like that. Glenn Hansard, Glenn Hansard who's the lead singer with The Frames, and he won an Oscar um, for Falling Slowly. I think from that uh, film, Once. Great movie, great musical, great tune. But he uses, uh, he, I heard him use this phrase before he was describing when he gets into, I suppose, mining mode is what I'm going to call it myself. But he says he tunes out to tune in, tunes out to tune in. What's he tuning out of? He's tuning out of the noise, the overthinking, the effort to tune in to what? To something that's already existing, the same thing that exists, the source of ideas, source of creativity, source of energy. And so for me, what I've realized recently then was oh without realizing it the level of tension inside chain was rising more than it would normally be there and i lucky enough that i caught it i just thought i'd share this with you um just in case you're on the illusion that chain doesn't have to do any work on himself he does all the time but once i caught it i thought oh yeah i'm kind of going into that effort again i'm starting to try and make it happen so relax Take it one step at a time. Check and reduce my attachment to any outcomes. That allows me to bring more of me to the table. It allows me to engage more in just the doing and the joy of being, as opposed to the thinking about the doing, the thinking about the being. 
I remember somebody said to me before, they said, you know, it's it's a little bit like, you know, making the effort of carrying loads of bottles of water around because you're afraid, you, you know, you're going to run out of water versus realizing that you're actually swimming in an abundance of water. It's a very different mindset. And the mining is when you actually genuinely realize, oh, there's an abundance of water, I can just relax. There's water everywhere. There's always opportunities, there's always ideas, there's always solutions versus having a scarcity mindset where, no, no, I need to carry water around with me. Might be the best analogy, but maybe, maybe, maybe it makes sense. So what about you? You know, where would you, where would you feel tension at the moment? There's probably something somewhere. Uh, if you reflect a little bit and think, well, hang on, is there a project? Is there an element of your job at the moment? Or has certain challenges come in on the personal or on the work side or on both? Can you just pause for a second and just see where are you trying to make it happen? Where are you leaning in too much and lost your center? Maybe you could back off inside and mine more than try to make stuff happen. So back off inside. Does that make sense? And I suppose what I've realized myself is that ideas and opportunities definitely are limitless. And there is something inside us, this unlimited source that communicates with Adele, that with Len Hansard, but also you and me. Don't feel it's just for the for the scarce famous few. It's not. It's there to, for everybody. Um, it'll give you ideas or a pathway forward. It'll maybe be the silent voice that kind of gives you courage to go a certain direction um, during a difficult time. And I suppose if you're thinking about a mine, maybe it's, a, like, it's like a pipe going down to some beautiful unseen place. There's a pipe there. And for most people, that pipe gets blocked. With what? It seems to me to be overthinking. And it's kind of that thinking, overthinking comes from a mindset of effort. I have to make it happen. But what if we could just back off and experiment even over the next few days? My guess is that, or my experience even, is that most people seem when I talk about this, realize, yeah, actually, I never thought about it. There have been moments where I've just let things unfold. And I hadn't realized, but maybe that was just unblocking the pipes, letting the clarity, the ideas, the energy just flow out naturally. The easiest mining you could ever do in your life. So that's my... That's my food for thought for today. And so when it comes to clarity and ideas, maybe don't try and make it happen this week. Instead, mine. Ciao for now.